Hi. Welcome to Ink Answers. If you've ever tried to add a dry powder into an ink, you know how difficult that can be. Let's take a look at how ink expert Rick Hicks would recommend you do this. Okay. We're going to do some mixing here. What this is is a small mixing blade. We use this on about from 2 ounce, 8 ounce. Maybe you can go a little larger. I prefer to step up and use a cutting blade. This will cut in to about a quart. And then we we'll come over and we go with the bigger blade and this will take care of mixing up to a gallon. And then of course you just go accordingly to bigger size, bigger blades. What I'm going to do is lower this down into my ink bucket. Secure it. Okay, so you secure your bucket, lower your blade in, get your vortex going. What's the vortex, Rick? The vortex is the moving of the ink, keeping it moving while you're adding the powder. Once you get it going and get it where you want it, I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. Secure it. Start adding your powder. I prefer doing it like this. A lot of people will take it and just dump it in. That's where you start running into your problem where your powder gets stuck on the edge of your bucket. It doesn't mix in properly. This way you've got better control of what you're working with. You want to make sure that you keep your blade off the side of your bucket, especially plastic buckets. It'll groove in there and you'll get little plastic pieces in your ink and that's something we don't want to do. If you're adding your powder and you're mixing it, you're not seeing any powder up on top and it's been running for a while, what I do is I will go ahead and slow down the mixer. Start raising it up. Start slowing it down more. Raise it up. Shut my mixer off. Now, I prefer using a plastic knife over a metal knife, again, going back to the plastic bucket. You want to try to make sure that you didn't get any shavings off your bucket into your ink. Go through, make sure it's all cut in. You can do that by looking. Mixing it up, and you're ready to prep. All right, now you've seen a quick example of how to mix a powder into a wet ink. If you got any other questions, get a hold of us at inkanswers at nasdar.com. Thanks for watching.